the stage. Apart from a few little jinks in the road, it's very much a straightforward run in into Albi. The final left hand turn, although you can take it at speed, comes with 1.4 kilometers to go. You take that left hand turn, the straight road under the trees, you go over the bridge into Albi. But this is interesting because Liana Lippert has now been told you can work with Marlon Royce, you can try and chase down Ricardo Baumfeed, try and go for another stage victory, and you'd say these two are quite evenly matched if you were to put them up. As you start to see Marlon Royce do up the shoes, she's already starting to think about the stage finish. Royce thinks that this is going to come back and she's going to win the stage. Doing up the shoes, refusing to work. Marlon Royce 31st at 5.21, so she's not a danger to anything. Leanna Lippert, though, is a danger. Eighth overall at 139. Two kilometers to go. Fiend is still there. 25 seconds is her advantage. Can she make it to the finish line? This young German rider has put in a stunning, stunning performance again today on the road. She went on the attack on the penultimate climb of the day, which we crested at 40.9 kilometers from the finish. Has she got enough in the tank to go all the way to the line? Two kilometers to go for Lippert and Reusser. Anna, this is close. Lippert wants Royce to work, and she's saying no. This is touch and go, because if these two continue to mess around and Royce doesn't now come through and contribute with Liana Lippert, then the chances of a stage victory are moving further and further away. The group containing the yellow jersey at the moment is being led by Yara Castellain, the virtual leader in the polka dot jersey, because they know that Judy, Julie de Vild, the 20 year old Belgian is in here. And this finish is a finish made for her. She's got an excellent turn of speed. She's got an excellent sprint and she wants to try and take back to back victories for Fenix de Koenig at the moment. But the big issue is with one kilometer to go, Ricarda Baumfiend is in pole position for the stage victory. Going on the attack now from the peloton is Grace Brown, who's had one of those days on the road. 1,000 metres to go. Look at the speed of this 23-year-old German from Canyon Shram. She went on the attack. She's looking here to try and win the stage as she makes her way past one of the red director's cars who just got in a, a little bit of the way. 23 seconds. And now these two are going to mess around, Hannah. They've looked at each other. They've blinked. She's going to ride away now on to the final rise to the finish line. This is unbelievable. The fact that Marlon Royce was the rider to set off this attack on the descent. Liana Lippert reacted and the duo have 10 seconds over the group behind as they go under the Flam Rouge here. This is really interesting because Ricardo Baumfiend is going to go on and take the stage victory. Does It'll Marlon Royce know that there's a rider up the road? Well, if we take a look at yesterday's stage, as Baumfiend, she comes over the top of the crest of the climb. It's all the... Here the we go. This is Ricardo Baumfiend into the finish line. Her sports director, Magnus Backstead, said, now believe, ride with the same speed, go for the finish line. Well, she's done it. Ricardo Baumfiend, the 23-year-old German, has taken an incredible win. Solo from over 40 kilometers, stage five into Albi, Ricardo Baumfiend. She can't believe it. She can't believe what she's just achieved, but she's achieved the biggest victory of her career, a Tour de France victory. And now we get the sprint. Marlon Reusser kicks hard in head now of Liana Lippert, and she goes for the line. Does Reusser realize that there's a rider? Surely she does. Reusser second, Lippert in third, and Lotta Kopecky is going to win the sprint for the bunch behind in fourth place. I really can't explain what happened then. They all looked at each other, but there was one young rider who has taken the biggest win of her career, Hannah. All I can explain is Canyon Sram have never won a stage of the Tour de France fam of X Swift. They've never won the yellow jersey. They've never won a stage. They were on the podium last year with Cassia Nuviadoma. 
in the overall general classification, but this is by far the biggest victory that they have had. And I think the biggest victory they've had as a team since its inception. This is phenomenal from Ricardo Baumfiend. It is. And well, well deserved for the team. I totally agree with you. What a day, what an attack to go on that climb. Ricardo Baumfiend, she realizes the emotion of winning a Tour de France avec swift stage that's some ride i mean the attack hannah 